Well, Jada Pinkett Smith is on a media tour talking about her upcoming tell-all memoir, Worthy, which documents several key moments in Pinkett Smith's life, including the times she's felt neglected by her parents who suffered from addiction, her days of dealing drugs right here in Baltimore, the time her close friend Tupac Shakur wrote, I want to marry, marry you while he was incarcerated, and her journey to reclaiming her identity and her relationship with Will Smith. I want you guys to take a look here at this clip where she talks about what happened after the infamous moment Will slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. It's going on. Now, first of all, I'm really shocked because, mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. I'm like, what is going on I right keep now? my wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth, yes. right? And I'm yes. like... There are different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. But now I'm really worried for Will because I don't know what's going on. So I think within that is where people might have thought that, oh, they must be having an open relationship. And Chris looks to me and he says, Jada, I meant you. I meant no harm. Now, I, I'm just out of it because i yeah. really worried about and Will. What's Will doing? He's just sitting there? And Will's still talking. He's like, oh. he's still, because now he's mad because Chris is talking to me. And I go, Chris, this is about some old sh That's all I could think to say, yeah. right? And I couldn't really take in his apology. Okay, so a lot to unpack on this. <laughs> I want to start with you, Crystal. Okay, so let me get so firstly, many thought that altercation between her, between Will and uh, Chris Rock was due to Will Smith having pent up anger about being embarrassed by Jada for the past several years. You know, she had an affair with her son, 21 year old son's friend. Um, and all cons, all types of instances and moments where basically people were saying she was emasculating um, Will. But now we hear her say they were separated, you know, and she was actually surprised that he called her uh, his wife when he hit Chris Rock. So do you feel like people are being too hard on Jada? I think that people are being too hard on Jada because y'all I don't know if you've noticed but we live in a matriarchy y'all can pop all of that patriarchy stuff all you want to but this is a matriarchal society that would allow this woman to write a book emasculating her husband and he just sit there like a sad sad puppy and then picks on Chris Rock because he makes a joke he's a comedian he would not have done that to Steve Harvey I promise you that boo boo and so and then you hear her in the interview say I don't even know why he did like girl I felt like I literally felt like why is Will allowing this? But he's allowing this because it's happening everywhere. Literally, the man is sitting there, twel tail between their legs. The woman does anything that she wants. The woman, we live in a society where women are constantly embarrassing guys, treating them, baby mama society, male incarceration. Like, all, like so everything's an attack on a male. So Jada is just a product of what's going on right now. So we shouldn't be surprised that she's sitting up there telling her story with this freaking like narcissistic person. It's my story and it's what I went through. And it, no girl, you got a whole family, a whole husband that you sitting up there talking about and blasting him. And then going, you supposed to be ride or die. You going to tell him, I don't even know why he did that. Chris, me and you cool. Like that's what you get. That's what you get. So yes. Uh, so I, I want to, uh, um, now, I want to move on to, I want to show this next clip before I get your response, Shelly. This is Will. So Will has read the book uh, and he gives his thoughts on 
everything in the book coming out that that Jada wrote. Take a look here. I'm always going to be by Will's side. We don't want to be in this lifetime without one another. A letter from Will. Congrats, Dink. I just turned the final page of Worthy. And damn. Damn. (laughs) It is amazing to realize that despite having lived most of my life by your side, I still found myself shocked and stunned and caught off guard, laughing, then inspired, then heartbroken. I was all over the place. It's one thing to hear anecdotes at a family barbecue, but it was truly overwhelming to take in your story potently condensed in this way. You are one of one, a rare blend of power and delicate sensitivity. I know it wasn't easy to excavate the depths in that way. I applaud and honor you. If I had read this book 30 years ago, I definitely would have hugged you more. I'll start now. Welcome to the Authors Club. I love you endlessly. That's beautiful. That's why I can't divorce that joker. Right. So, I mean, he, I I mean, I got to say that was beautiful. That was was beautiful beautiful, what he said. But not deserved. Well, he felt like she said, go ahead. What do you think? What are your thoughts? I think, first of all, I don't give a damn about Will and Jada, number one. Um, (laughs) Number two, I think that whatever her book is called, her story, whatever it's called. Worthy. The fact that, number one, Will is still with her, right? Good, bad, and different, whether some people think she's embarrassing him, whatever. Many women, married women, have written books about their their life and their lives, whatever. I I haven't read the book, and I don't intend to. However... I don't even know why we are so consumed with Will and Jada. However crazy they are, however much alopecia she has or doesn't have, <laughs> however much he's emasculated or not. I, I just, I don't see where the consumption, why they are so, why we consume them so much. For what? It's just something to me. I don't give a damn about their marriage. I mean, I mean, you know, well, I think they're going to be divorced sooner, sooner than, rather than later. But if they're not, so what? This is their life. This is their marriage. Yes, their children are freaking weird. I, you know, I think they have done some damage to their children. But I also know they've been married 20 something years together, 30. I do know that people can change good or bad, married or not, they can change and they evolve in a good way or a bad way. And sometimes people do, people, a lot of people were, um, that, that I saw on social media were saying, oh, she's lying, she's lying. Maybe Chris Rock did apologize to her. I don't know. Maybe they did live separately, um, even though we're in the same house. I don't know. But the fact is, is that if that was, if that was, some of that was not true, whichever part you think is true or not, we wouldn't have as many divorces as we have today. So obviously, remember, the divorce is pretty much an instant in time. What leads up to that happens over time. So all of these people who want to proclaim or say, oh, she's lying and she's the back. No, guess what? Will is right there with her. Yeah. Right, I want to get your yeah. thoughts on this, Yana. What, what did you think of, of the whole? Because we did cover it when he Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. And now she has this book, Tell All. <laughs> Well, I mean, first of all, it's it's astonishing that she did not try to be on Will's side at all after this happened and that she but not just OK, she could say, OK, I didn't expect him to do that. But Which is normal. right. But she said that I have no idea why he, we all had it was clear when uh Chris Rock said what he said and then she had that face. Mm-hmm. She had that face of like that Will probably knew mm-hmm. he could read, you know, her face how angry she got and that like um set him off, set Will off to because he's on edge obviously right. with this this woman. She's very narcissistic. I yes. mean, obviously it's all about her. Her book is how she is so worthy. And <laughs> like nobody else Girl, is. Bye. And and the thing is that I remember this was years ago, maybe I guess it was seven years ago. 
there was some interview between them and she did say something that they live separate lives. Yeah. I do remember that. So if, to me, it was not a surprise that now it's coming out. No, it's, it's obvious. But then I don't understand what happened to Will maybe in his younger years that got him to be that way. Why well, is I, he accepting this? I think, I'll tell you, and, I think this is my take on it. And I think, and, we are all being played. And ju so just like, just like we were being played, how, you know, the Hamas and the Gaza yeah. Strip story, they've doing this whole kind of rerun in city after city, you know, blame the person outside when it's really the people inside that yeah. are causing your demise. Now we're being played by this. So we all, many people looked at their marriage as kind of like that fairy tale marriage. Many people did, you know, as yeah. people do. Um, and they, they were put on this pedestal because they, they are being used as kind of the model of the modern day marriage okay. where the roles have reversed. Yeah, so that is what is going on. And you touched on it somewhat. We are being put, this is being thrown at us yes. on every, you know, stage on, on every uh, entertainment site on news shows. Now she has her book. She's on all this media tour. She, this is not a one-off. Yeah, they okay. are the couple that many okay. of that, that the, I don't know who it is, but whoever's behind this is pushing okay. no long, no longer the traditional man and woman marriage. The thing you is, know, is that I want to say loyalty. Two things to that. I no, two things to it's that. not. It, that's gone. The only people who are being played are the people who care about Jada and Will in their marriage. You only can be played if you care about their marriage. Well, I'm saying, you no, you only well, can be played no, if, no. if you have if you have some emotional and because we don't know her or them. We don't, if you have some emotional investment, then you can be played. Number one. Number two, they are uh, they are their own couple, their marriage for again, however crazy it may be, maybe actually maybe scenes, whatever, that's their craziness, right? But again, I don't buy into this blame Jada for everything. I'm not blaming her. And I'm saying and, no. and again we talk about taking accountability of your own actions. If Will was having a breakdown of some sort, even before he slapped Chris Rock, if he was having a breakdown, then it was up to him or them to seek out the help that they can. I know that they can afford, right? But Will, he should be responsible, and he took a he, he apologized. He should be responsible for his actions. Yeah, Jada should be responsible for her actions and or the lack thereof. But again, you can only be played if you have a vested emotional. No, no, that's not true. To care. I, no, that's not true not because. because they're they're selling an idea. Shelly, this is to who though? Listen, Who's buying it? Culture was it? What's, Again, the, what's the? What's the? What's the? Wait a second. Idea. Culture masses, is downstream from everything well, else. If you, Culture. If you have a vested interest in it. The masses are being played. Right, Shelly, right. You're a wise right, person right, right. who has a vast experience. Right. Okay. The masses are being exactly. played, and I agree with oh, okay. with the uh, case. If you care, then because. I, I'm right. Because, well, unfortunately, the masses care exactly. about yeah. stuff like that and the tabloids and it gets reprinted. And now, yes, it's this okay. image of this powerful woman who is the one uh, making the decisions and she cannot divorce him. And he said the because, same thing. But she's the <laughs> one who who uh, cheated on him. Right, and right. he cheated on her. He cheated on but her. But that's the thing. They have an open marriage. So but again, they, they, uh, open, they, that's again, though. Uh, open right, marriage is not marriage. a marriage. Right. right. And this, open this is a new, right. this is the redefining exactly. of what a marriage what is. What exactly. Yeah. But the point that I'm making is that to only jump on Jada is Nobody so jumping on her. Not you, jump whatever. But many people are only jumping on her when he is right there, too. He's not, he's he not is denying anything. That's what we should be jumping on. So now the world. Now, now he's a simp because the woman. He is a this, simp. No, no, no. I'm saying, and maybe he is. In this narrative, the woman has all the control. Then that means he's on. He's on a little street. Yeah, he and is. He has no independent. He's passive. He has no independent capacity for himself. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying okay. he's a passive man. Okay. Uh, he's very passive. She holds all the weight okay. in that marriage, and they have an open marriage. This is, and he, and she's this. She's the I woman everybody that. wants to be, you know, this independent yeah. woman. And she's, you not. know, she, you know, she's got the the career. She sings, yeah. you know, she's the one that people, the kind of like uh, image. I, 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 okay, I, I, I want to state the obvious. Jada is a crack baby. Let's let's keep keep it let's keep it funky, okay? <laughs> so I don't expect much from her. I do 
am upset with Will. Like I'm okay. more upset with Will because Will got good sense. Will has his father. Will has talked about how he had had values and hard work. And I think there was a story in his book where he was talking about he had to they had to build the barn. And, and so he has this incredible culture that he has allowed a female, mother of his child, wife, or whatever, to literally deconstruct his manhood, deconstruct his legacy, deconstruct his reputation. Yeah, she sure I, that, I mean, like to me, that is insane. And she that, and it. he's following, he in in allowing it. it. Okay. Allowing there you it. go. He yeah, allowed it. Well, I don't get your point. If he if he has a part to play in it, he allowed it. Yes. If he if he is the strong culture, I'm not disputing that. Yes. But then he allowed it. Yes. And a lot of men are allowing it. And that is the failure of this society right now. Because I am watching men literally like change like like whatever the woman says. Whatever the woman this says. This is the new oh, man. This is the new man. The boss. My this is the new like that. Like what's what's it? John Legend? Sitting up there changing baby babies' diapers and sitting at home rocking because because his little stupid wife. Like I mean, this is the foolishness that the strong man is allowing. But I'm telling you, this society will not survive like that because you remove the man and daddy oh, is not home. We absolutely. are in for something that we we don't even know absolutely. What we're in. And now again, KJ and I have a discussion too. Now you talk. I know this is about Jaden Will. Yeah. But you're talking about remove the man. Yes. I always ask the question: Why did the man leave? And maybe that's a different discussion. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I don't think he had a choice. Uh, I think she was calling the shot. Yeah, yeah. She, I like, mean, in that situation, yeah. yeah I mean, I don't, I, like I said, and I can't remember the quote where it said, culture, everything's downstream from culture. Oh, yeah. or culture's, How, a culture's downstream from politics. Right. right so, here. yeah. So, you know, this is the Politics culture is culture, really yeah. navigating mm -hmm. and leading where everything else is going. So we're moving towards this idea of, again, this marriage, but it's not really a marriage. Yes. You know, it's open. You can, you know, Marxist and, and, right. idea. The yeah. Mom, the, yeah. Mom, the mom yeah. is yeah. the strong one. Right. Yeah. I, I no, and then these that, women yeah. are running these men. Um, you know, we do have, Shame I think in men. the, uh, yeah, we, well, I was where watching are the strong men then, because in these, I'm, again, we're talking about Jada and Will, where are they? Where are the strong men? They're there. I do believe that they are there. Um, but we're not being, but again, we're being kind of pushed uh, into yeah, believing okay. that they, they're, they're, they're not, not that's incorrect. That's no longer because correct. It's not and they're not the there. The media is not after those families. Right. No. Exactly. They're not putting exactly. them on the, the strong, strong men are in a DC jail. Yeah. This, this, most of the strong men, at least the ones that I know, they're not on social media, right. you know, flamboyant that, you know, they're out being productive with their lives, their families, their children, children, they're whatever. They're not in the nail salon. They're not in the nail salon. On Valentine's they, Day. They're not in the nail salon <laughs> eating pedicures and, and manicures and all. And they're not doing drag moves and, and all that stuff, thank God. But yeah, so yeah. There is I, something I wrong with America. <laughs> when you go to a nail salon, you got that right. And I have, I go to one. I and go to uh, Anne which, is uh, little Anne, Anne Ling. Is holding up oh. a man's big, big thirteen size foot. Stump. It's trying to 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 to, uh, to defile down his nails, his, claws. his big le hairy leg and foot. And I'm sitting next to this, and this poor woman is swinging back and forth on the stool. I got oil, oil, you want some more? You want some more? And he's and she's trying to hold his Ew. foot. There's something wrong with the men in America. I, I don't I don't mind the men getting pedicures. I mind that they're putting it on Facebook and I mind that they're like literally celebrating it. And I mind I that they there when I'm there. Exactly. I don't want it on yeah, Valentine's Day. I don't space. want it in their own space. Men used to go to the barbershop and you know they might get their nail. They used to go to the barbershop, all that stuff, and, and then they go smoke a cigar, have their shoes shine. I don't want to see thumps and stumps where in the pedicure bath. When I'm there, hold on. Kevin Hart said, "Hey, that's gay." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we do have to move on. We have to move on. Um, but we will continue to follow this. Uh, the story, uh, the book again is called "Worthy: The Emasculation of Will Smith." Yes, so, <laughs> yes. Pick it up, uh, Barnes and Noble near you. <laughs>